Trailblazers, it's Michelle with Trailhead Accounting Solutions. Today I want to walk you through how to write off bad debt using Xero. All right, Trailblazers, let's dive over into Xero and I'll show you how to write off an invoice that includes sales tax for bad debt. Unfortunately, you all know that's an unfortunate part of doing business. Occasionally we do run into customers that, for whatever reason, won't pay our invoice, whether they're unhappy with the service, whether they go out of business, whether they're having cash flow issues. Every once in a while, you just run into those deadbeat clients that had no intention of ever paying the invoice and just wanted something for free. So we are going to write this off. So we're going to click on business, click down on invoices. And if we click here on awaiting payment, a list will populate of all the invoices that are open for this company. So we are going to come down here to this one that's really old back from August from City Limousines and we're going to write it off. So we're going to click on City Limousines and this is going to open up the invoice. Now the thing I love about Xero is writing off invoices is crazy easy. Super simple. Most other accounting platforms have like a five step process to go through. This takes like two clicks. You'll see here in just a minute. So let's look at this invoice. So we've got the unit price is $228.83. They are collecting tax, sales tax at $21.17. And then so the total invoice amount is $250. So we're going to click up here and we're going to click on add credit note. And what I absolutely love is Zero brings all of this information right over. So we're going to date this. Um, we're going to pretend like it's December 7th just because the reports I'm going to show you in a minute make more sense if I date it this way. It assigns the credit note number automatically, so just let that be. The reference number here auto populates from what was on your invoice, so I usually leave that alone because it helps, you know, internally you can reference the invoices that were getting written off. Then it brings over all the information from that original sale. So we're going to first make a note. I like to make notes why we wrote off invoices to bad debt. Um, you know, today you remember, but if you have to go back and reference in a year, two years, five years, it makes it super simple to have a note. Um, I like it too, just, you know, if you have somebody on your team that is writing off invoices or your accountant, um, you know, they have to make a note so they can't just write stuff off that they don't want to collect. So we're going to just say, write off to bad debt. Um, you know, customer never received services this month. Oops. Okay. And then the accounts, I don't like to put it through sales. You can write it off to sales. I prefer to write our bad debts off to a bad debt expense account. The reason for doing this is that it allows you to track it on your profit and loss. So then you can see how many invoices you write off every year to bad debt. And it helps you kind of alert you if you have a problem if you're writing off too many invoices. Now we're going to have to go back and change this to the 9.25% sales tax since bad debts is automatically set up in the system not to track sales tax. So then we're going to come down here and we're going to see the subtotal is um, the total amount is 250, which matches the same tax amount, the 2117. And we're going to apply it to this invoice. So we're going to kind of click approve. Super, super simple. So that applies it. It takes us back to the invoice. Now you can see that they subtracted out the credit note and the amount due on this invoice is zero. Now let's dive over and look at a couple of reports. So if we click on accounting, we're going to come down here to your sales tax report. And if we look, I'm going to change the dates to August, is the date of the invoice. We can see oh, it didn't work the way I wanted it to. It's included in this number here. Okay? 
So if you are an accrual cash basis taxpayer, you would have paid your sales tax on this invoice regardless that you hadn't paid. But then if we come over to December, you will see here is the invoice that we've just wrote off, right? And here is the taking out the sales tax. So then when you go to file your sales tax in December, you will get this discount for the invoice that you've already previously paid the tax that you can then back out these ta taxes from this time um, when you pay. So that's how that works. And then the second thing, let's just um, look at your income statement as well so you can see what's going on is on this end. So we're going to pull an income statement for August. I don't know why it's not clicking that. We'll just go this way. Come on, August 31st. Okay, so if we run a report for August, we click on sales. We will see our city limousines invoice right here. And then when we pull an income statement for December, when we wrote it off, go back to the income statement. So in August, it's sitting in sales. And then in December, if we pull the income statement for December. You will see now we have this bad debt line item like somebody else wrote off another invoice for dad, bad debts this month. But you will see here's our city limousines invoice that we just wrote off to bad debt. And it, you can see it, it also includes the sales tax amount. So we got that done right. So I hope that helps. Super simple to write it off. Zero makes it extra simple if it includes sales tax. If you have any questions, definitely reach out. Otherwise, I hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.